Okay, so first thing, I've got a bunch of windows here of everything that I'm most interested in. And let's see. Um, yeah, so of course we already know new masters and stuff. Really hype about that. But um, yeah, um, Einhard's back. Bestiary. Woo. I'll probably mention that later again, but oh well. Okay, second thing here, uh, the energy shield recharge is no longer interrupted, this is the whole Eldritch Battery thing, I'm really hyped about that, uh, I'm, well, as far as designing builds, we'll see what it looks like after I get done theory crafting, but, I'm, I'm definitely looking at that now, that, that could be really interesting, I, I wonder if that becomes a decent meta for some s spellcasters, so, let's see, next, we got, the uh, new stats for Chaos Damage Over Time Multiplier, the big one. Now the Cold Damage Over Time Multiplier, that kind of goes with the, uh, um, like, reworked Arctic Breath and Vortex and Ice Nova. So, cool with the Cold Damage Over Time Multiplier. But the Chaos, I really like Blight. I've been trying to want to play Blight, but I always end up with Scorching Ray. So maybe now I might do Blight over Scorching Ray and... Uh, the occult is, well, that's coming up, but I'm really interested in trying that over the trickster. So, let's see. Next is, woohoo, cast on crit. Let's go. Let's get some discharge going. Um, actually, now with the, uh, you always, well, I guess you have to spin one now. Okay, so I guess that was addressed, but that would have been cool if, like, well, the plus one to frenzy you always have one frenzy no matter what now i'm curious to see what kind of things happen with that i don't know if it was frenzy but uh if you can get say frenzy that would be really cool if you just always have that four percent more that would be pretty legit um but anyway next um the occultist i didn't have anything marked here but the occultist again the chaos damage really hyped Curious to try to theorycraft some stuff with the cold and chill, but we'll we'll see about that. Um, and then down here, the hierophant with the brands. I'm definitely looking forward to playing around with that. Also, the totem, rip minus one totem, but at the same time, they added two more with the skill gem, so that's pretty ridiculous all over the board with any totem builds now. And the three percent more is pretty nice per totem. Let's see, item balancing. Okay, molten strike, rip molten strike. Well, not really rip. It was absurd before. Now it's probably more balanced. You probably still can do everything with it pretty easily, but it's just not going to be silly. Um, you probably still can, like, insta-heal everything with life on hit. So, probably was needed before. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Um, so, the thing is, they rip stat sticks. So... They pretty much killed statistics for melee skills. I was really curious about what they're going to do with spells. And in this case, they're having the amount. Amulets are unaffected and stuff, but on weapons. So that's still like about 15% on weapons. So that's not too bad. 20% uh, on the 40% ones. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But still an average 15% more that's that's not bad or as extra so we'll see um moving on uh oxium okay so here we go with the items and stuff really hyped on building around oxium for energy shield uh it has it got switched to the crystal belt so now it's got a lot of es and with the 100% of es counted for chill and freeze pretty legit with how much you can get right now uh, and plus they're buffing how much you can get with that one node that gives plus 60 so that would be pretty insane a uh, crown of eyes uh, causes you to leech from all types of attack damage now I'm really interested in trying to bring this item back so hopefully it's good again um, let's see if I can fit it in a couple of my builds and good thing is I knew where I was yeah uh, so Mjolnir um, Mjolnir maybe back maybe not 
probably still kind of decent at least. But the one uh, 150 milliseconds instead of the 250, pretty nice as they're doing with everything else. Uh, here is Ire. That's a lot of cold damage. That could be something for a decent bow build. Definitely going to look into maybe trying that on something. Carcass Jack, 50% increased area. That is crazy. Definitely looking at some kind of maybe cyclone stuff. Maybe you can throw that in the cast on crit. You got a lot of lot of AoE stuff that's going to be built around that. That's pretty nice. Plus they upped the damage like one or two patches ago. So Carcass Jack looking good. Uh, Bringer of Rain. Now this is my big one. I'm going to buy one of these no matter what. I'm probably doing a build. If I can get to it, I'm doing a build with Bringer of Rain. Bringer of Rain's back to Legacy because I checked. I in, Last night I thought that the health might be a little bit lower than what it was, but no. Health is back to, to Legacy, so hype. Which, that was connected, but oh well. Doriani's Fist. Um, the big thing here, I missed this last night with the 600% added damage effectiveness. That is crazy. So, that'll probably keep it in line with where it was with Abyss Jewels. So, Abyss Jewels, Doriani's Fist build. Pretty hyped over that. Let's, let's see what happens. Um... Lion Eyes Vision. Uh, yeah, so now they got a dex requirement so you can roll green sockets on it. That was the biggest problem with Lion Eyes, is how hard it was to roll the green sockets you needed. Uh, Duresso's Defiance. Okay, so 60 to 100% increased effect of Onslaught. Plus Raider. The Super Zoom Zoom. Let's go. Um, yeah. Fast Roomba Cyclone or maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely be looking at that to see how fast I can hit things. Um, let's see. Oh, Brine Crown. This is insane for how much armor you get now. If you're stationary, doing any kind of like channeling, 1,500 armor. And plus, they upped the armor and energy shield on it, which was pretty decent anyway. From 100 to 120 to 240 to 300. That is a lot of armor coming from this helmet. That's pretty nice. Um, oh, yeah, and the life bonus is pretty crazy, too. So, if I try my Scorching Ray or even Blight, definitely looking at that helmet for something. Uh, then we got Arakali's Fang. Okay, so they added the new stuff with, you know, dealing damage with minion nodes, and you're getting buffs from it. So, attack-based, minion-based kind of thing. Poison Spider assassin thing with daggers? I don't know. I'll check that one out. So that's definitely a theory craft coming up. Uh, let's see. We got Reach of the Council. Okay. Again, I might be trying it for poison. For barrage, is it better than doing a crit Death Opus? That's going to be the question. So did they do enough for it to compare that way um, as far as doing barrage? And then for poison, will it beat out the um, Lion Eyes Glare? Which that's a hard one to beat because you always hit. So, decent enough accuracy, can it win? Um, and also, is that 75% enough to increase the flat damage? Because right now, kind of weak. Um, let's see, next we got Void Fletcher. That actually looks pretty good now. That looks pretty nice. Um, Queen of the Forest. Rip Queen of the Forest. Uh, that was... Well, it's not completely ripped because 75% is still a lot of movement. But, man, they are hitting it down, down, and down. I hope it doesn't go any lower than that, though, because... Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, Impulsa... Yeah, Impulsa is still the same, really? 5%... I mean, I, I use 5% on my Chieftain with Blade Vortex, and everything exploded just fine. So, I mean, even though it's half, I really don't think there's going to be much of a feel of it being different. So, um, yeah. And I don't know if the, uh, the Cannot Shock was already there or not, but... 
even still, 5% of the explosion, not the biggest deal. Okay. Um, into gun. So they pretty much were like, fuck you, into gun. But, I mean, seriously, 60% every 200 mana spent. That is ridiculous when you start thinking about that. Because now it'll be 20 to 25 every 200, and you're still going to hit that 2,000 pretty easily. So just thinking of what it would have been before with this value is absurd. And 2,000, when you think about that, that's a huge number. Like, that's pretty crazy. Quill Rain. So rip a little bit on the poison with the Quill Rain. Uh, and also, maybe I was thinking about Explosive Arrows, so that could be a problem. Um, might not affect the clear that much, but 40% less is a pretty big deal. Um... So, might still be viable with some of those, but uh, a lot of a lot of builds that use Quill cool Rain are kind of gonna hurt. Um, really, though, the biggest thing I'm is probably the cast on crit is why they're doing this. So, but the, I'm pretty sure even with 40% less, cast on crit is gonna be just fine with Quill cool Rain. So yeah, rip some of the other builds because of this. But oh well. Um, we'll have to see if the, if it's still pretty viable or not. Oh, I just marked Quill Qu Qu Rain again. That's how bad I feel about it, I guess. <laughs> okay, Chin Soul. Yeah, it was absurd. It pretty much made your build work if you needed some damage. Um, throw Chin Soul, get close up, boom. Um, now it's 50%, so, and they up the damage, so I guess if you're converting all of it or most of it, then it still is going to be close because that'll be a little bit more than the 50% at that point. So, not the biggest nerf. It's still going to probably be the go-to to fixing your build if you need something for damage and you can get close up. Um, yeah, I might do Shrapnel Shot or something. See how it feels. This lead. Cane of Unraveling. Okay, so 55% non-element chaos multiplier or chaos damage over time multiplier. Um, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I already threw that in a build and kind of threw on 50% more just seeing what would what it would look like for, say, Blight or Essence Drain. And the damage looks pretty good. Might go back to that, even though I did kind of use it last league. I might see how it fills this league and maybe do an Essence Drain or Blight build with that instead of... Which, Blight, I'll probably use um, Breath of the Council and the shield uh, from Harbinger, but we'll see. Uh, Cosprey's Malice. Okay, so I read this last night, but I really didn't pay attention to it. But yeah, that going down. Uh, I've tried one Cosprey's Malice build, like a couple of these back. It was pretty good. If this just makes it just that much more effective, then I'm pretty hyped. I'll probably try to get this again, see how it works. Um, let's see, now we have Beastiary League, <laughs> yeah! Okay, so, yeah, I'm hyped about Beastiary League. It was one of my favorite leagues. I know that's probably not the most popular opinion, but I am really hyped to see it come back. I love the crafting, I love Einhar's voice. Stupid beast. So yeah, really, really looking forward to all the Beastiary stuff. Um, oh, this. And this was a big deal to me uh, last night that I pointed out. Um, that's one reason why I'm pointing it out again. The prophecy that forces the appearance of masters, if, like, a lot of times that's how you got your masters up to eight really fast. Now, if this forces Nico to appear, that's going to be the way to get Sulfite fast so that you can get into the mines more. So, I don't know, that's, that's a problem. Um, I mean, again, in Trade League, that might be the way that gives you the edge over everybody else if you're trying to race for the deepest depth. So, I don't know. Um, maybe they're going to change that sometime, but right now that, that looks to be a big problem with Prophecy and Delve Racing. But maybe they'll address that later, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, map changes, okay. Oh, yeah big thing here, they're shuffling everything around, We, of course we know that, but the thing is, they're replacing 
like Torture Chamber, which is why I was like, oh no, Torture Chamber is tier 15, but now it's a new map. Hopefully, it's not as bad as Torture Chamber. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty hyped about seeing some of those maps go. Gorge was one, but they already kind of nerfed where, like, the density on it, so... But, with that said, the third point there, bring their layouts or monster densities up. New meta for maps? So, who knows? Maybe we might have, like, open maps be a thing now. Maybe they just nerfed, uh, like, Toxic Sewer, which was going to be probably the big one for Tier 12. So, I'm pretty hyped to see what kind of maps and th that you can have fun with more playstyles rather than just being like locking your atlas to something so that's going to be really interesting for anybody racing as well um that could just be i p you pick the wrong maps rip you lose the race so that could be fun um or, or at least to watch <laughs> probably not for a couple of the racers um let's see Zana League mods, so I just highlighted the entire thing here. Yeah, I'm pretty hyped about these, which there's no Nemesis and no uh, Beyond, so rip a lot of the XP with Beyond, but um, there's things like Harbinger looks like to be a little earlier than some of the later ones, um, and Breach being earlier than Harbinger. So the big question is, is how do you unlock all these? Is like the Air Elder Tier 1 to 15 one, is that beating uber elder or is that like getting when you get the elder orb will that be when you unlock it so that's going to be the big question is when you get each of these um for the most part yeah I, I i like this this is pretty cool uh that gives a reason to push for a lot of the in game and the quest in game at least for higher maps so yeah i'm anything that does that i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty for so uh, let's see next uh stream of monsters <laughs> I always hated streaming monsters. Every time I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm leaving this strong box. Unless it was like, m maybe an Arcanist or Cartographers or um, Divination. Uh, so yeah. Uh, hopefully that's fast enough to for me to actually be hyped. But we don't know how much more quickly. But hopefully it's enough. And then the last thing here is, um, will this be clunky enough to be annoying when you're switching between all the different leagues and that might be one of the problems with all the different masters and how they're going to work so I'm hoping there's a way to switch between them while say you're in your hideout rather than having to go to the menagerie to get it or go to the mine or you know so hopefully there's a tab switch somewhere with it but we'll, we'll see uh, that that could be clunky, um, and yeah, it looks like. Oh wait, there's there's PVP. People play PVP. No. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. So that's it for the pretty much the main things that I'm most interested in and what I'm hyped about uh, as far as the patch notes go. Um, so throwing this up on YouTube. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.